with Walter Dubas of the Smith Falls Bears, Bears and Braves this evening. Walter, I guess maybe I just want to take you through, if you could take us through uh, the season to date for the Bears. You came out of the gates pretty good, but I guess a little spin in December. Yes, you're, uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, I think that uh, when we came out of the training camp, we had five kids from last year's team, and, and we weren't really knowing what to expect from our team. And We got off to a really good start, and I guess if we an analyzed it now, we probably overachieved early, and we're something like 17 and 9 coming out of the gate, and then we hit a skid where we lost 14 in a row. Uh, probably lost our identity, and uh, um, unfortunately, uh, Mark stepped down at that point, and and, and I took over and uh, I think we've righted the ship and we seem to have got our footing underneath us now and uh, we're winning some games, winning our share of games, not never never enough but we're still winning and uh, uh, we're, we're looking to the playoffs. Speaking of the playoffs, a big win last night to solidify a playoff spot and you scored some goals in that one 6-3. Yes and that's one of the areas we, we've struggled in. We're not a high scoring team and uh, so we get six goals and we got contributions from all four lines last night. Uh, we were down 3-2 going into the third, so I thought it was a big character win. The kids uh, competed hard in the third and never gave up and uh, it was a big two points. And uh, so now we're, we're in the dance. Uh, we just have to figure out who we're going to play and where we're going to finish. Yeah, I guess right now it's going to be either Carlton Place or Cornwall. Uh, the two C's, I guess it, it doesn't make much difference. No, they, 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 it's a daunting task either way, and uh, uh, I'd, I guess on the business side, uh, there's a lot of people that would like to see Carlton play Smith Falls. It's a natural rivalry, and, and the fans uh, uh, follow each team quite closely to the other uh, the other rink. But uh, Ian McGinnis has built a pretty good hockey team as well. So uh, either way, it's uh, it's it's going to be tough, uh, but we're looking forward to the challenge. This, se this season series with the Braves uh, has been a typical one, pretty close between you guys. It has, and uh, I, don't, I don't think there's been uh, too many games that aren't, aren't decided by one goal, and a lot of times it's either over overtime or a shootout. We expect the same thing tonight. They're still playing. They're battling Kempel um, for, a, for a spot for 5-6, so we expect them to come out hard, and, and we seem to bring out the best in each team, so uh, uh, it should be a fun night. I guess other than win, what would you like to see your team do tonight? We're just looking really to be consistent. That, that, that when, when, when we're good, we're skating, we're playing hard, and, and we're competing. Uh, and when we're not playing well, it's, uh, we seem to sit back and wait, uh, and we're not very aggressive on pucks or, or aggressive in general. So we need to build for the playoffs. We need to be uh, in coach speak. We knew we're looking for that full 60 minutes that every team looks for. Uh, but just compete hard in all three zones, and uh, if we do that, we, we like our chances. Thanks for doing this, Walter. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you having me. Walter Dubas of the Smith Falls Bears.